Night and Wamba by Sir Walter Scott. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. There came three merry men from the southwest and north, evermore sing the roundelay to win the widow of Wickham Forth. And where was the widow? Might say them nay. The first was a knight, and from Tyndall he came, evermore sing the roundelay and his fathers god save us were men of great fame and where was the widow might say him nay of his father the laird of his uncle the squire he boasted in rhyme and in roundelay she bade him go bask by his sea-coal fire for she was the widow would say him nay wamba the next that came forth swore by blood and by nails merrily sing the roundelay hers a gentleman god wot and hers lineage was of wales and where was the widow might say him nay sir david ap morgan ap griffith ap hugh ap tudor ap rice quoth his roundelay she said that one widow for so many was too few and she bade the welshman wend his way but then next came a yeoman a yeoman of kent jollily singing his roundelay he spoke to the widow of living and rent and where was the widow could say him nay both so the knight and the squire were both left in the mire therefore to sing their roundelay for a yeoman of kent with his yearly rent there never was a widow could say him nay end of poem this recording is in the public domain. Night and Wamba by Sir Walter Scott. Read for LibriVox.org by Brian Darby, January 2016, San Jose, California. There came three merry men from south, west, and north. Evermore sing the roundelay. To win the widow of Wickham forth, and where was the widow might say them nay? The first was a knight, and from Tyndale he came, evermore sing the roundelay. And his father's God save us were men of great fane, and where was the widow might say him nay? Of his father the laird, of his uncle the squire, he boasted in rhyme and in roundelay. She bade him go bask by his sea-coal fire, for she was the widow would say him nay. The next that came forth swore by blood and by nails, merrily sing the roundelay. Hers a gentleman got what, and hers lineage was of Wales, and where was the widow might say him nay? Sir David, ap Morgan, ap Griffith, ap Hugh, ap Tudor, ap Rice, quoth his roundelay. She said that one widow, for so many, was too few, and she bade the Welshman wend his way. But then next came a yeoman, a yeoman of Kent, jollily singing his roundelay. He spoke to the widow of living and rent, and where was the widow could say him nay? So the knight and the squire were both left in the mire, therefore to sing their roundelay, for a yeoman of Kent with his yearly rent, there never was a widow could say him nay. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Night and Wamba by Sir Walter Scott. Read for LibriVox.org by Caitlin. There came three merry men from south, west, and north, evermore sing the roundelay, to win the widow of Wickham forth, and where was the widow might say the nay? The first was a knight, and from Tyndale he came, evermore sing the roundelay, and his fathers, God save us, were men of great fame and where was the widow might say him nay. Of his father, the laird, of his uncle, the squire, he boasted in rhyme and in roundelay. She bade him go bask by his sea-coal fire, for she was the widow would say him nay. Womba. The next that came forth, swore by blood and by nails, merrily sing the roundelay. Hers a gentleman, God wot, and hers lineage was of Wales, and where was the widow might say him nay? Sir David ap Morgan, ap Griffith, ap Hugh, ap Tudor, ap Rees, quoth his roundelay. She said that one widow for so many was too few, 
and she bade the Welshman wend his way. But then next came a yeoman, a yeoman of Kent, jollily singing his roundelay. He spoke to the widow of living and rent, and where was the widow could say him nay? Both. So the knight and the squire were both left in the mire, therefore to sing their roundelay, for a yeoman of Kent with his yearly rent, there never was a widow could say him nay. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Night and Wamba by Sir Walter Scott Read for LibriVox.org by David Lawrence There came three merry men from south, west, and north. Evermore sing the roundelay. To win the widow of Wycombe forth, And where was the widow might say them nay. The first was a knight, and from Tyndale he came, evermore sing the rondelay. And his fathers, God save us, were men of great fame, and where was the widow might say him nay? Of his father the laird, of his uncle the squire, he boasted in rhyme and in rondelay. She bade him go bask in his sea coal fire, for she was the widow would say him nay. Wamba the next that came forth swore by blood and by nails merrily sing the rondelay hers a gentleman god wot and hers lineage was of wales and where was the widow might say him nay sir david hap morgan hap griffith hap hugh hap tudor hap rees quoth his rondelay she said that one widow for so many was too few and she bade the welchman wend his way but then came a yeoman, a yeoman of Kent, jollily singing his roundelay. He spoke to the widow of living and rent, and where was the widow could say him nay? Both. So the knight and the squire were both left in the mire, there for to sing their roundelay. For a yeoman of Kent, with his yearly rent, there never was a widow could say him nay. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Night and Wamba by Sir Walter Scott. Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. There came three merry men from south, west, and north. Evermore sing the roundelay. To win the widow of Wickham forth, and where was the widow might say them nay? The first was a knight, and from Tyndale he came, ever more sing the roundelay, and his fathers, God save us, were men of great fame, and where was the widow might say him nay? Of his father the laird, of his uncle the squire, he boasted in rhyme and in roundelay. She bade him go bask by his sea-coal fire, for she was the widow would say him nay. The next that came forth swore by blood and by nails, merrily sing the roundelay. Hers a gentleman, God wot, and hers lineage was of Wales, and where was the widow might say him nay? Sir David ap Morgan, ap Griffith, ap Hugh, ap Tudor, ap Rice, quoth his roundelay. She said that one widow for so many was too few, and she bade the Welshman wend his way. But then next came a yeoman, a yeoman of Kent, jollily singing his roundelay. He spoke to the widow of living and rent, and where was the widow could say him nay? So the knight and the squire were both left in the mire, therefore to sing their roundelay. For a yeoman of Kent, with his yearly rent, there never was a widow could say him nay. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Night and Wamba by Sir Walter Scott Read for LibriVox.org by Gloria Fontaine There came three merry men from south, west, and north, evermore sing the rondelay, to win the widow of Wycombe forth, and where was the widow might say them nay? The first was a knight, and from Tyndale he came, evermore sing the roundelay, and his fathers, God save us, were men of great fame, 
and where was the widow might say him nay. Of his father the laird, of his uncle the squire, he boasted in rhyme and in roundelay. She bade him go bask by a sea coal fire, for she was the widow, would say him nay. Wamba. The next that came forth, swore by blood and by nails, merrily sing the roundelay. Hers a gentleman, God wot, and hers lineage was of Wales, and where was the widow might say him nay. Sir David, ap Morgan, ap Griffith, ap Hugh, ap Tudor, ap Rice, quoth his roundelay. She said that one widow for so many was too few, and she bade the Welshman wind his way. But then next came a yeoman, a yeoman of Kent, jollily singing his roundelay. He spoke to the widow of living and rent, and where was the widow could say him nay? Both. So the knight and the squire were both left in the mire, there for to sing the roundelay, for a yeoman of Kent with his yearly rent, there never was a widow could say him nay. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Night and Wamba by Sir Walter Scott. Read for LibriVox.org by Greg Giordano. Newport Ritchie, Florida. There came three merry men from south, west, and north, evermore sing the roundelay, to win the widow of Wycombe forth, and where was the widow might say them nay. The first was a knight, and from the Tyndale he came, evermore sing the roundelay. And his fathers, God save us, were men of great fame, and where was the widow might say him nay. Of his father the laird, of his uncle the squire, he boasted in rhyme and in roundelay. She bade him go bask by his sea coal fire, for she was the widow, would say him nay. Wamba. The next that came forth, swore by blood and by nails, merrily sing the roundelay. Her as a gentleman, God wot, and her lineage was of Wales, and where was the widow, might say him nay. Sir David ap Morgan, ap Griffith, ap Hugh, ap Tudor, ap Rice, quoth his roundelay. She said that one widow, for so many was too few, and she bade the Welshman wend his way. But then next came a yeoman, a yeoman of Kent, jollily singing his roundelay. He spoke to the widow, of living and rent, and where was the widow, could say him nay. Both. So the knight and the squire were both left in the mire, therefore to sing their roundelay. For a yeoman of Kent, with his yearly rent, there never was a widow could say him nay. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Night and Wamba by Sir Walter Scott Read for LibriVox.org by Leanne Howlett There came three merry men from south, west, and north, Evermore sing the roundelay, To win the widow of Wickham forth, And where was the widow might say them nay? The first was a knight, and from Tyndale he came, Evermore sing the roundelay, And his fathers, God save us, were men of great fame, and where was the widow might say him nay? Of his father the laird, of his uncle the squire, he boasted in rhyme and in roundelay. She bade him go bask by his sea coal fire, for she was the widow would say him nay. The next that came forth, swore by blood and by nails, merrily sang the roundelay. Hers a gentleman, God what, and hers lineage was of Wales, and where was the widow might say him nay? Sir David, ap Morgan, ap Griffith, ap Hugh, ap Tudor, ap Rice, quoth his roundelay. She said that one widow for so many was too few, and she bade the Welshman wend his way. But then next came a yeoman, a yeoman of Kent, jollily singing his roundelay. 
he spoke to the widow of living in rent, and where was the widow could say him nay? So the knight and the squire were both left in the mire, there for to sing their roundelay. For a yeoman of Kent, with his yearly rent, there never was a widow could say him nay. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Night and Wamba by Sir Walter Scott. Read for LibriVox.org by Maria Casper. There came three merry men from south, west, and north, evermore sing the roundelay to win the widow of Wakeham forth and where was the widow might say them nay. The first was a knight, and from Tyndale he came. Evermore sing the roundelay, and his fathers, God save us, were men of great fame, and where was the widow might say him nay? Of his father, the laird, of his uncle, the squire, he boasted in rhyme and in roundelay. She bade him go bask by his sea-coal fire, for she was the widow would say him nay. Wamba. The next that came forth swore by blood and by nails, merrily sing the roundelay. Here's a gentleman, God wot, and hers lineage was of Wales, and where was the widow might say him nay. Sir David, ap Morgan, ap Griffith, ap Hugh, ap Tudor, ap Rice, quoth his roundelay. She said that one widow for so many was too few, and she bade the Welshman wend his way. But then next came a yeoman, a yeoman of Kent, jollily singing his roundelay. He spoke to the widow of living and rent, and where was the widow could say him nay? Both. So the knight and the squire were both left in the mire, there for to sing their roundelay, for a yeoman of Kent with his yearly rent, there never was a widow could say him nay. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Night in Wamba by So Walter Scott. Read for LibriVox.org by Rod Singh. There came three merry men from south, west, and north, ever more sing the round delay, to win the widow of Wycom forth. And where was the widow, might say them nay? The first was a knight, and from Tyndale he came, ever more sing the round delay, and his fathers, God save us, were met of great fame. And where was the widow, might say him nay? Of his father the laird, and of his uncle the squire, he boasted in rhyme and in round lay. She bade him go bask by his sea-coal fire, For she was the widow, would say him nay. Wamba. The next that came forth, swore by blood and by nails, Merrily sing the round lay, Hers of gentlemen, God worth, And hers lineage was of Wales, And where was the widow, might say him nay? Sir David at Morgan at Griffin, Ab Hugh, Ab Tudor, Ab Rice, quote his roundelay. She said that one widow for so many was too few, and she bade the Welshman wend his way. But then next came a yeoman, a yeoman of Kent, jollily singing his roundelay. He spoke to the widow of living and rent, and where was the widow could say him nay? Both. So the knight and the squire were both left in the mire, there for to sing their roundelay, for a yeoman of Kent with his yearly rent, there never was a widow could say him nay. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.